Hello guys and welcome to Human Resource Machine, year 23, the littlest number. Let's see what they want. Okay, for each zero terminated string in the inbox, send the smallest number that you... Oh, good God. Right, okay. So zero terminated string. What we have to do on this one, we've got to check each string of numbers and output only the smallest number in that particular sequence. This could be a little bit tricky. Um, right. Okay. Let's have a little think about this. So we've got to start by going over to the inbox. And because we're comparing numbers, we've got to copy it to the floor. Then we're going to go back to the inbox because we're going to need to compare numbers. And we will copy it to there. Now, we're going to need a jump if zero, just because if the number, second number's a zero, then it means it's the end of the string. So we'll just drop that in there for now. And then we're going to want to put a subtract this one. If it's a negative number, we're going to have to jump. We're going to need another jump just so we can loop. Kind of think that. Let's just let's get this out. I don't like putting jumps in before. It just gets very confusing very quickly. Um, right, jump if negative. We're going to jump under there. If it's not a negative, then we are actually going to jump back up to this step. Right, so we're going to go to the inbox, copy the first number to the floor. Then going to go back to the inbox. Copy that number to the floor subtract what's on the floor and then if it's not a negative number we're going to go back up and repeat the process which is going to sort out our string count now we're going to need to copy from oh this is getting really confusing really really quick um, right do you know what I'm going to do I'm actually just going to get put that up there for now to get it out of the way and I'll come back and sort it out after um, right we need to copy from that's correct we're going to copy from there and we're then going to copy to there that's right because we're always going to put the smallest number on this first square yeah, 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 yeah. And we're going to use this square here to actually check which is the smallest number. That's correct. Right, now we're going to put a jump in. We're going to jump all the way back up to here, I think. Maybe to here. Jump to here. Yeah, I think that's right. I think we'll jump up to there. Now I need to fix this jump if zero, because that's got to go down there. Inbox, if it's a zero, we're going to skip all of this and jump straight down to there. That's correct. We then need to copy from here, which is the smallest number, put it in the outbox, and we need a big jump to take us all the way back up to the top and repeat everything. Let's just check this. So, get the first number, copy it in there to the smallest. We get the second number. Minus the two, no good. Okay, minus the two. Because it's smaller, it's a negative. That goes over there. Yeah, this looks good. Copy it from there because we had a zero to the outbox. Right, and that is level 23 done, I think. Let's see how we've done. I'm sure there's probably a faster way of doing it, but as this was my first attempt... Okay, so we did it, but we didn't do it particularly gracefully or well. Oh well, if you guys find a better solution, let me know. I'm not going to come back and try and optimise any of these until I complete all of them. Just because I think it will be a little bit easier. So, thank you guys. Have a good day.